Hi, in this lesson you'll explore Bootstrap's navigation bars. Just a reminder that for full descriptions and example code, visit the Bootstrap docs and select Components from the side menu. Navigation bars are an important part of most websites. They make navigating from page to page much easier for the user. Bootstrap provides several CSS classes for easily creating these navigation bars. Let's take a look at this example code that uses an unordered list with UL and LI tags to create a navigation bar. The Bootstrap class nav and nav tabs have been added to the UL tag. Each LI tag then includes the nav item class to define it as an item on that navigation bar. Then we add a nav link bootstrap class to each A class. The active class should be added to the current page. So home.html should add active to the first A tag, profile.html should add active to the second tag, and so on. Here's how the web page's navigation bar would look with the home tab active in the navigation bar. Now we've changed the active class to the profile tab. And finally, this is what the navigation bar would look like with the messages tab active. Contents of the nav bar need to go inside a container div. You can add other bootstrap classes to further style the navigation bar. In this example, the navigation bar uses a dark theme with the nav bar dark and BG Dark classes. Many websites fix their navigation bar to the top of the user's screen. With Bootstrap, you can easily do this by including the fixed top class in the nav tag. Likewise, the fixed bottom class would fix the bar to the bottom of the screen. Now that you know a little more about navigation bars, let's take a look at some examples in the editor. In this example, we have a basic web page already set up with a nice header at the top that's all stylized, and then we have some main content here that just says welcome to the home page. Uh, we also have three separate HTML documents opened. We have the index, messages, and profile pages um, that are different HTML files that we can access. So what we're going to do in this example is put everything in the main tag and it'll be um, underneath our header tag that we already have in place. We're going to start adding a navigation bar with some different tabs and the first thing that we're going to add is that nav class uh, equals nav. We'll add the nav tag to set up that navigation bar to begin and then within that nav tag we're going to put a ul tag and that unordered list tag is going to have a class of nav and nav tabs so those are two separate classes and that'll help to stylize our navigation bar now within our unordered list tag we can start adding some list items so some li tags for each of the different links that we want to link to the first one i'm going to add here is to that home page it's the page we're already on so we're going to make sure that we have the active class added to that a tag that's inside the li tag so remember we have a list item tag that has a class of nav item to indicate that it's an item of the navigation bar and then we have an a tag which is the actual link with a class of nav link and also the class of active because we're on the index or uh, home page already. So now let's add our other two links. We have another li tag here with another link in there and that's to our profile page and then we have our third one to our messages page. So now let's go ahead and save this and we'll take a look at what it looks like here on the page when we reload it. So now we can see that we have our navigation bar here. It's really nice and you can see a nice hover effect over each one of the links. If I click on profile, it makes the profile page active. And when we go to the profile page, I've already set up the navigation bar here so that the profile link is also set to the class of active. And so that's why when we click on profile, it becomes active. Same with thing with the messages. We basically copied that navigation bar code to each of the three pages, but then just change the active class for each of the different links, depending on which HTML document we were in. And now it's your turn to try these out in the editor and do some coding.